Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use, uh, operate and take full advantage of a TomTom Tom XL GPS with a different version of the operating system. This is version 9.101. Okay, so depending on which operating system is installed uh, in the TomTom uh, Tom GPS, the interface uh, everything is different the interface is different the buttons the icons settings everything appears to be different uh, based on the version of the operating system that's installed that's why for the same TomTom -tom, there could be two different types of tutorial videos depending on what kind of operating system it has just like a computer if you have the same exact computer would have a different tutorial video if it has Windows 98 or if it has let's say Windows XP or Windows 7 Windows 10 and so on okay so let's start and see how to take full advantage of this uh, GPS unit okay so this is how the GPS unit looks like and uh, uh, what I'm gonna do is first show you how to mount it there are two different types of mounting mechanisms uh, one is the mounting mechanism uh, that uh, came from factory which is this which, uh, which snaps in here like that and then you simply uh, attach this to your vehicle windshield uh, so to make it easier you first attach this and twist this to lock position and then mount it there but there is an aftermarket version which is much better this one is much better this plugs in mounts right here and then goes to the windshield and you lock it like that this is much more sturdy much more secure and it's cent centered the point of rotation is centered which is more physic from physics point of view it makes more sense to have the center of your rotation in the center than it is from here wh wh where it is on the top so that's why it's much better okay now I'm gonna use this one the original one to mount it here so that because this is something that not everybody has this is much better kind most people have this one so I'm gonna teach you guys on that one okay so uh, as you can see that that thing is in the uh, uh, unlock position you have to push it down with your finger apply pressure and twist at the same time to lock position okay so see like it's, it doesn't work very well so I'm gonna have to do this again let's see okay so this time it did work all right so now I'm gonna mount this okay so that's mounted that's like the movements different types of movements you have okay there okay so the first thing uh, you will get it will be this screen I'm trying to straighten this there okay so the first thing you will get will be this screen and in order to use the GPS I uh, strongly recommend that you first do a factory uh, a reset uh, to customize the GPS based on your specific needs and this is how you do it okay so first you press the center of the screen and then you click on options and then you click on advance then you click on reset factory settings you go there uh, it's, it will ask you do you really want to delete all the settings and locations that you have added uh, you you can say yes of course it will delete everything if you have added a lot of locations and settings then you might want to save those before you do the reset all right so you click on yes it will ask you again to confirm you click on yes it will go through a reset and then it will ask you to choose the language so US English um, yes you could go to um, 
right-handed or left-handed depending on what uh, if you're a right-handed person or a left-handed person so I'm a right-handed I'm gonna choose right and miles are kilometers if you're in the United States you have to choose miles or in England but if you're everywhere else in the world you have to choose kilometers this will be used in Europe so I'm gonna use kilometers and the time format you can have it uh, set to military time format like that uh, uh, where uh, it's 18 after after 12 o'clock it will be 13 14 and 15 uh, after 12 p.m. or you could have it a.m. p.m. which is this kind this is more standard so I'm gonna choose that one you could set the time or you could let it automatically sync automatically sync will tell it will sync with the satellite and choose the exact time for the location you're in but doing so requires you to be outdoors under the clear sky now since I'm indoor this is not gonna work for me uh, I'm gonna choose the USA Southwest map would you like to set your home address not now would you like a brief tour sure you could choose a brief tour but I'm not gonna go there because I'm I will be teaching you everything so you don't have to go to the brief tour uh, you, okay here's a, a trick question it says do you want to join TomTom Tom, uh, map share and map update map correction whatnot it's I wouldn't recommend this because if you do that it will ask you to connect your TomTom uh, -tom to your computer all the time and sometimes doing so will corrupt the system and sometimes without your permission it will automatically update the firmware and the new firmware will not be compatible compatible with your maps or the new firmware will have issues with your unit so there's there's just just to be on the safe side stay away from this because the map corrections the only map you want is from the factory not the map corrections that people created so that's uh, the thing uh, that mostly inaccurate maps so uh, leave that alone I my recommendation is to not to choose this so join the map share no you don't want to join that it's more headache, especially if you're traveling. Imagine if you're traveling in a, in a foreign country where you have limited connect, internet connectivity and you're, all of a sudden your GPS is asking you to connect to your PC to sync the map. So you don't want that. So we click continue, decline the map update thingy. All right, so, so here is the, telling you how to make map corrections and all the things. Uh, agreement okay so this is the main screen after you turn on the unit we did the options in the settings now uh, in the options there are more settings not just what we went through for example you could change the voice what kind of voice you like when you change the voice you will be given a list of voices only that voice which has the word computer after the name of the voice is the one that will pronounce the street names for example if you choose Suzanne English US computer it will tell you turn right on Broadway turn left on Broadway or, or turn right on first Avenue or left on second Avenue and this and that if you don't have the computer word after the name for example if you choose Lori or Mandy it will tell you turn right and turn left it will not speak the name of the street so this is better to have but the disadvantage here's a disadvantage because this is a computer voice it's not as clear and as crisp as this one because it's a computer generated voice this one is much better sound quality but this one is much more convenient so you have to sacrifice quality for convenience now setting the clock we did that we don't have to do it then you can change the language you could uh, save your home and favorites you could add a favorite um, images and voices that you can add map correction and so on so now we're gonna go to the options and choose advanced this time in advanced you have set units which we can change to metric or, or kilo kilometer or I mean standard US standard or metric system which is kilometer and uh, miles and whatnot we already did that the uh, hand operation keyboard preferences you could choose the keyboard to be a b c d or uh, q w e r um, I like the, the Latin keyboard 
and I like the large keyboard and I like uh, Q W E R T Y I don't like ABCD it's very confusing this Q W E R T Y is in the format uh, as your home computer or laptop or any typewriter is that is the format if you choose the other format it will be confusing so we leave that there okay now this is very important this Garmin happen I mean this TomTom GPS happens to have uh, uh, safety alerts this is like uh, if you're traveling and if there's a camera uh, it will warn you that there is a red light camera there's a speed camera it's such a good thing to have this unit has that uh, safety alert so this is where you can enable it or disable it so if you click that now it has been disabled it will not alert you now if you click it now it has been enabled it will alert you now this is to switch map if you have more than one map in this unit which we do we have European map and North American map so you could switch between them by using that and this is the factory default which we already did factory reset okay so now we're gonna go and explain everything else here this is the sound which you can you have reached your destination that's like muting and unmuting So I, I left it at 80%. If you want to check the sound level, click here. You have reached your destination. That's your sound level right there. So uh, this is waiting for valid GPS signal. So that's it's waiting for the valid GPS signal. Uh, it doesn't have any signal right now. And this is where you see what version operating system you have. And here, if you click, it will also tell you what version map you have. Here it tells you where are you at, it's, uh, uh, satellite wise, you have only one satellite because we are indoors, so that's uh, that. And also you can change the satellite uh, configuration, like if you want it degrees, seconds, the, the, the one that's default is the best to choose from. So leave that at, uh, at the default. Okay, so now uh, this is night vision, if you want to change it to night vision, the screen will go dark. I don't want to do that right now but that's night vision right there so I'm gonna go back to day daytime that's the daytime the screen is brighter okay so this is help and options and that's done okay so now I'm gonna click done if I wanna go somewhere how do I enter an address first I click on the center of the screen and then I go plan a route and here I could choose either the entire United States or a specific state let's say I'm gonna choose state of uh, Oregon and then you're gonna choose address where you wanna go to or Oregon in Oregon you click here you enter well, let's say I wanna go to um, Eugene there Eugene Oregon right so now it's gonna ask me street let's say I'm gonna go to first street and house number two zero one I'm just guessing I don't even know if this address exists not found see because so let's go to 36,000 for the house number okay now it says you are in a place where there is no satellite reception you want to wait or you want to use your last known position let's say before I walked in the house or turned off my GPS I was in a different place let's say I was 10 miles away when I turned off my GPS and lost satellite reception so if I don't wait and I choose plan my uh, last known location it will give me directions from the place where I was 10 miles away so that's why it's good to wait and get the uh, most up-to-date position now if you know that last time you turned off your unit you were in, in your driveway in your house then you don't have to wait you could say plan from my last known position because your last known position was your driveway which is only like 10 feet away all right so now this is doing the you know calculation of the route I'm going to cancel that because I don't really need to go there I this was just to show you now if I want to change it to a different city I go to address now because I am not gonna go to Eugene Oregon anymore so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna choose Utah let's say or if I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna choose Arizona depending where I'm going so that's how you do 
the navigation by entering the address okay the next thing is navigation by recent destinations if you've went to a place before like I just punched in the Eugene Oregon thing so this I'm gonna delete because this doesn't exist done oh, wait a minute cancel one second I'm gonna go to recent destination delete yes because I, I never now there is no recent destination because I deleted the Eugene Oregon now points of interest very important to know points of interest are important places that you could go to such as such as let's let me show you okay so let's say in Phoenix Arizona what are the points of interest okay so in Phoenix Arizona we have gas stations par uh, open parkings restaurants hotels and then you have more points of interest to choose from uh, amusement parks <coughs> excuse me amusement parks ATMs banks beaches there is no beach in Arizona but you know you could choose different places uh, uh, dealership car dealership car wash and whatnot casinos so those are all the different points of interest you can choose from now you could go to points of interest near you now how come the near points of interest near me is grayed out because I don't have satellite signal I'm indoors once I'm outside ev all of these will be uh, uh, available for clicking so that's why these are not available right now so that's that uh, what else did I miss anything I guess I covered all the grounds and uh, oh browse the map you could go click on browse the map and then look at the map like 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 as if uh, as I'm looking at it right now and let's say I like this uh, park right here I can click on it and it will navigate me to to that place or I can look at the map and I see oh there's a shell gas station uh, and I have shell uh, uh, credit card for for gas uh, gas card then I can click on that shell right there which is on uh, I don't know I cannot read that Gary Boulevard which is there I can click on it and I can uh, click find or I can click done let's say I click find and then you can go to that that gas station okay there and I can choose that point of interest and it will navigate me to that place or let's say I'm gonna go to this uh, bridge that's a bridge San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge and then I'm gonna click done and it's gonna route me to that bridge but only when I have reception the reason it's not working right now because I don't have reception I don't have any satellite reception okay all right so that's that so hopefully uh, this uh, covered most of the topics with uh, this uh, GPS unit and uh, if you have any questions please uh, don't hesitate to contact me and make sure to like and subscribe once again show you this GPS it's a TomTom XL uh, OS version 9.1 9.101 that's the OS version thank you for watching